Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way of making a rechargeable battery at home with a very simple materials and it's very easy to make. So let's start. I'm going to show you everything step by step. So let's start. I have here uh, three pieces of um, graphite road. You need just three pieces of graphite road. And now I am going to just... Um, apply a little bit uh, hot glue stable them together just a little bit and also this side they have to stay just like this my friends now, my friends, I am going to use a piece of uh, paper towel as a separator. Just I am going to roll this paper towel around the graphite sticks. This part should be a little bit uh, outer. And try to roll it tightly as much as possible. But be careful. Don't break the graphite road because they are very fragile and they can break very easily. Just like this. And also... I'm going to roll a piece of aluminum foil. As you see, I have just uh, here a piece of aluminum foil. And I'm going to just roll the aluminum foil on the separator. And be careful. The aluminum foil and the graphite roads shouldn't touch each other because if they touch each other they will be a um, short circuit so they shouldn't touch each other now i'm going to just tape them with a piece of tape As a terminal, I'm going to use a piece of uh, copper wire. I'm just uh, uh, round this uh, copper wire around the uh, aluminum foil. It should be a little bit tight. Make a good connection. And now I'm going to put this system into this plastic tube. Just like this. This part should be out. And now I am going to use my hot glue and close the bottom of the tube. Completely it should be um, airtight. Okay, now I will let it to dry. I will let it to dry. So this is our negative terminal and as a, as a positive terminal I am going to use another piece of um, copper wire. I'm just going to connect this copper wire uh, to the graphite roads. Okay, just like this and I'm going to use a little bit again um, hot glue to stable them now just we have one more step I need to add some electrolyte into this uh, plastic tube as an electrolyte, I'm going to just use uh, some salty water. So I have here um, some water and just have some table salt. I'm just going to add the table salt into the water. And just give a stir to dissolve the table salt into the water. Now, with the help of an injection, I am going to just add the electrolyte into the battery. Just 
from here. Add slowly. You should add the electrolyte until top of the uh, plastic tube. And now again, with the help of my hot glue, I'm going to seal my battery. Okay. Okay, my friends, our battery almost ready. Now we are going to make some measurement and charge our battery and make some test on it. Now, my friends, first of all, let's measure the initial voltage of my battery. This is the negative one and this is the positive terminal. I have my multimeter here. Just going to measure the initial voltage. And for now, as you see, we have about one uh, volt inside it, 0 0.96. But this is just uh, because this is empty, the voltage is uh, can, uh, can't do anything. Let's try with this uh, blender. So as you see, it cannot do anything. So we need to charge our battery because this is a rechargeable battery. By the way, you can charge this battery about uh, 50 or 60 times, not too much because after 50 or 60 time of uh, recharge the battery, the aluminum foil was depleted. And so your battery is, will be out of work, but you can use about 50 or 60 times. So let's charge our battery. I have my multimeter here the uh, negative connection and the positive during the charge there could be a leakage or gas uh, releasing so I'm going to put a paper towel under it and just uh, charge our battery with uh, 0 0.1 amp okay you see the voltage it reads up to uh, 5 volt and can you see gas comes out it's very normal for the first charge I'm going to charge it for about half an hour, my friends. Okay, my friends, after charging about seven minutes, as you see, it's not releasing, um, there is no leakage too much, just releasing some gas here. For a demonstration, I think it's enough. Now we are going to uh, measure the voltage and make some test on it. Just remove from the um, charger. And now let's again measure the voltage inside it. The negative and just the positive. At this time, as you see, it has two point, uh, almost 2.15 volts. Of course, it's not the real voltage of the battery. The operating voltage of the battery is about uh, 1.8 volt now we are going to make some test on it at this time I am trying to again run this uh, blender with my battery can you see my friends at this time it can run the blender very fast of course and uh, just try to run this uh, DC motor with my battery. Can you see? It can run DC motor very fast. You see? It's a very nice battery.
Of course, we charge the battery for about seven minutes. If you charge it longer, for about one hour or uh, half an hour, your capacity of the battery will be will increase, and you can use this battery for um, home experiments or for small electronic devices. It's a very nice, beautiful battery, and it's very very easy to make at home, as you see, with the simple materials. You see, it can still run the DC motor. Okay, also it looks uh, very nice. We get the end of our video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friends.